the benefits of a whole foods plant-based diet are gaining popularity, and there is significant evidence to back it up. A 2014 Diet Patterns and Mortality Study, funded by the American Cancer Society, outlined that the common factors to a long, healthy life is a diet rich in fruit, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. Extensive research has shown reduced risk factors and even reversal for type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease when following a plant-based diet. Given the evidence, it is no surprise that the medical community is recognizing the value of going plant-based. Here is why these seven leading doctors are vegan. Number one, Dr. T. Colin Campbell. Dr. T. Colin Campbell is a biochemist with a special interest in the relationship between nutrition and long-term health. He is well known for his book, 2004's The China Study, the most comprehensive epidemiological study of health and nutrition. His biggest focus is on cancer development and how environmental factors such as diet can turn on or off cancer genes. As he discovered in his ongoing research for the China study and beyond, nutrition is the most effective medicine. According to Campbell, a whole foods plant-based diet is the best approach. So if you want to keep uh, one take home message in all of this, it's the one that you'd find <laughs> the most difficulty for most people. Don't eat animal food. There's nothing there that we need. Number two, Dr. Danielle Bellardo. Dr. Bellardo is a cardiology fellow at the Lankano Heart Institute in Wynwood, Pennsylvania, and she is a board-certified physician. She is well known on social media as the Veggie MD and as the host of the popular podcast Nutrition Rounds. In an April 2019 episode with Dr. Shavam Joshi, Dr. Bellardo speaks to the power of a plant-based diet for her patients. If someone jumps straight into a whole food plant-based diet, I find that I almost have to keep them uh, monitored very closely because sometimes their blood pressure drops so fast, it's before their next follow-up and we need to start removing medications. Dr. Bellardo helps her patients by advocating for lifestyle modifications, including a plant-based diet in addition to traditional medicine. She views nutrition as a foundational tool to preventing and reversing cardiovascular disease. Number three, Dr. Milton Mills. Dr. Mills is a critical care physician at Inova Fairfax Hospital in Annandale, Virginia. The plant-based physician has also served on the National Advisory Board and is the former Associate Director of Preventive Medicine with the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Dr. Mills is currently on the Board of Directors for Plant-Based Prevention of Disease, Inc., and he provides lectures at community venues across the United States. In a recent talk for dairy-free advocacy group Switch for Good, Mills addressed racism and the dairy industry. And I was having African-American patients coming in telling me, Doc, my irritable bowel is acting up, or I've got a spastic colon. And I talked to them about their symptoms, and it was fairly clear to me that probably what was going on with them wasn't that they actually had spastic colon or irritable bowel, uh, it, was, it was that they were continuing to include dairy foods in their diet. Number four, Dr. Angie Sadegi. Dr. Sadegi is a gastroenterologist in Newport Beach, California. She was a vegetarian for 12 years before adopting a vegan diet in 2014. After eliminating dairy from her diet, her chronic health issues of eczema and fibromyalgia symptoms completely disappeared. Dr. Sadegi encourages a plant-based diet for a healthy colon. When discussing constipation, an issue that afflicts at least 20% of the American population, she suggests a plant-based diet. For slow transit constipation, which is the majority of the cases, remember, increasing your fiber will help, and actually avoiding meat and dairy will help. She also highlights the detriment of a diet high in animal products. An example of a very, very poor diet um, that is high in protein and fat and uh, devoid of adequate levels of fiber is the Atkins diet. As you know, at the Atkins diet is about inducing ketosis and all kinds of uh, eating all kinds of bad foods like dairy and meat and not enough fiber. Okay, so what happened is when they did a study um, on, for people who were on the Atkins diet, 68% had constipation. 63% had bad breath, 51% had headaches, 10% had hair loss. Patients that adopt a plant-based diet experience weight loss too, but the fiber found in this diet keeps the digestive system running smoothly. Number five, Dr. Michael Greger. 
Dr. Greger is well known as the vegan doctor behind nutritionfacts.org. The website offers free research-based nutrition information. He has also penned the famous 2015 book, How Not to Die, in which he outlined the foods to eat for optimal health. Hint, they are all plant-based. The physician also has a free app available called Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen, which outlines a checkbox list of foods to consume daily. The list of foods I try to fit into my daily diet grew. I made a checklist and had it up on a little dry erase board on the fridge, and we'd make a game out of ticking off the boxes. This evolved into my Daily Dozen, the checklist of all the things I try to fit into my daily routine. Eating an array of fruits and vegetables reduced the risk of disease. In the light of strikingly consistent observations from many population-based studies, there can be little doubt that the habitual consumption of diets high in fruits and vegetables helps reduce the risk of development of degenerative diseases, including many types of cancers. Number 6. Dr. Joel Kahn Dr. Kahn is a holistic cardiologist at the Kahn Center for Cardiac Longevity, located in Bingham Farms, Michigan. Dr. Kahn integrates plant-based nutrition into his practice, as he believes that a whole foods vegan diet is the core of preventative medicine. Practicing medicine since the 1980s, Dr. Khan has treated thousands of acute heart attacks, but now he wants to prevent them. Dr. Khan has publicly defended veganism on many occasions. He has made appearances on Rich Roll's podcast. He went up against a paleo author on the Joe Rogan podcast, and he debunked Dr. Stephen Gundry's claims to avoid lectin-containing foods such as beans on popular TV show The Doctors. Gundry, in all respect, has not published a published paper on this topic, little tiny paragraphs. That is not a basis to change the nutritional pattern. Let me tell you three important facts. Number one, if you want to live a long life in this world, whether you live in Japan, Greece, Italy, uh, Costa Rica, or Loma Linda, you eat beans, you eat peas, you eat lentils. The universal food of longevity is the food he takes away. Bad idea. Number seven. Dr. Neil Bernard. Dr. Bernard is a medical doctor, adjunct associate professor of medicine at George Washington University School of Medicine, and the president of the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. He was the editor-in-chief for a nutrition textbook, Nutrition Guide for Clinicians. His work has been published in over 90 scientific publications, including studies of metabolic effects after adopting a plant-based diet, plant-based diets for cardiovascular safety and performance in endurance sports, and meat consumption as a risk factor for type 2 diabetes. As the leader of the Physicians Committee, Dr. Bernard has drawn attention to the vegan diet by assembling members of the medical community with a unified message. In 2018, PCRM doctors flocked to the White House. What simple step can you take right now that will protect your health, reduce your risk of diabetes, obesity, and heart disease, cut healthcare costs, and protect the environment? Go vegan! In 2019, PCRM's 12,000 members from the medical community urged Americans to ditch dairy. Also in 2019, Dr. Barnard participated in a Break Up With Bacon protest as part of a PCRM campaign. So the matter is, bacon and other processed meats cause colorectal cancer, the second leading cause of cancer death. That's it for today. Which plant-based doctor inspires you? Let us know in the comments. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. New videos every Tuesday and Friday.